Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die on freedom? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of put up wood and sugar? Do you have the courage? I'm, I'm going to talk to you. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have courage. Success breeds content. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre, be normal, and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than you are God, then neutralize everything He put in you. Just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you neutralize your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. For some of you, it takes courage to come in this moment. It takes courage to get you outside of the bar. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're going to talk about you. Do you have the courage to stand there for the storms keep raging and the people get to talk? And you stand there and say, I'm from the bar to turn around. Do you have the courage? I'm going to say something to you. It takes courage to be acceptable. It takes courage to be wise. It takes courage to be rich. It takes courage to be educated. It takes courage to be knowledgeable. Because all of you, you don't talk like that. You don't talk like that. You don't talk like that. It takes courage. I'm just wondering, in this weak, watered down, mediocre society that we live in today, in this reality TV world we live in today, I wonder if there's anybody left that's got the courage to say, after all I've been through, and all my ancestors have been through, and all my parents have been through, I didn't come through all of that to continue with all the same. I have the courage to go after my dream. Is there one left in this entire colossal that's got some money? All right, well, the video stopped, but you guys, you guys heard and got the gist of what we had going on there. Uh, you know, it's cool because we watch, you know, a lot of our other educators are playing motivational videos to start off their, uh, to start off their sessions. So. I think it's really important. Let me see. Had a couple more people. What's going on, Julie? And oh, Mitch hopped on. It's lit. All right. Can you guys hear me fine? All right. Sorry, guys. I'm having some issues on my end. Earlier it was better. Were you guys able to hear the video? I just hopped on. Okay. It was very glitchy. Yeah. All right. No. No worries. Um. We'll go, ahead, we'll go ahead and dive into it. We got. We got everyone on the call now. We got a couple more people. So let's go ahead and get it, guys. Uh. You know, real quick before we start hitting some charts, because uh, I mean, Mitch. Mitch has got some. Um, Mitch got some fire lined up for us. Um, I see some I see some great stuff happening um, on GBP USD this morning as well. If you guys can already notice it, you know, if you guys have been on just the two sessions this week so far, if you're just looking at this market right here, you can see the accumulation happening and what just happened. Look at these lows, stop, and we're going up. So we're going to break that down a little bit more. But before we do that, uh, you know, what we want to do first is go ahead and check out what we got going on for the rest of the week, guys. So, you know, going along with going along with that, we're going to hop into Forex Factory tonight. We do have, you know, everything kind of already went on this morning. 
We could check out our CAD pairs and see how this moved the market. But tonight we do have NFP for the Australian dollar. So we'll take a look at a couple Australian dollar pairs. Um, you know, see really where 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 imbalances, where we could see a big candle, uh, you know, a big wick, whatever it may be, to come, you know, maybe catch, you know, catch some orders uh, for us later tonight, and then to really have it go on for the rest of the week there. Other than that, pretty slow, but this is the big thing going on tonight at 9.30. So let's go ahead and get it, guys. Um, like I said, Mitch dropped a couple charts. We got AJ, UJ, EJ. Um, we'll go through what he was looking at. I got two from uh, from Tim right here that I haven't looked at yet, but I want to show you guys this right here. So GBP USD, as you see, um, I just kind of had it. You know, I had some lows here. I had some highs over here. I was talking about yesterday how this being a breakout candle over these lows. But, you know, to be honest, we never got anything clean over here. So what do we see happening right here? All right, I'm on the hour time frame. All right, we see equal lows, and they got taken out by one big candle. All right, that's an indication. That should be an indication already um, for anybody following along that that that's exactly what we're looking for this is this is happening picture perfect right in front of us and since it's still early in this looks even better on a 15 minute time frame so we're going to break this down literally right here because we had the sell off or the mark down from what we had going on up here and now we're in a new phase of accumulation so let's let's walk through it we got all of our equal lows right here all right, so when the market comes down here, what I used to think, how we used to think it is buy, you know, we have a great support right here. You know, this is going to hold. We're going to have a positions. All right, we're going to do, you know, 20, 20 to 30 pip stop losses, and we're going to try to catch some moves up here. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. What do we see happen now? Instead of buying at this zone, we're going to buy lower and sell higher. I'm no longer I'm no longer buying low. All right, we're not buying low right here. We're going to buy lower. All right, so we're going to wait for this candle. We're going to wait for this red candle to happen. This is that candle that come catches it that come and catches everybody. All right, this is that candle that gave me a lot of problems, you know, my first year trading. Where's my little There it is. Cool. So this is that candle that that did that thing, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever it did for you. It's right here. So what we want to do is we want to measure out this candle to catch an entry over here. And if you guys can see already, it came about 50 percent. So we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take. Let me get my array. The beginning of the candle right there. And we're going to take the 50 percent of this candle. Boom, go ahead and mark my line right here. It's where you guys see all these other previous wicks. Boom, look at this. Market came back up, pretty much got a nice, you know, clean test three times, and now it's moving back up. But we could come back down and get a good test here. I just want to show you guys that it's literally happening everywhere with every pair. All right, it's literally happening everywhere with every pair. And if we break this down to the 15 minute, let's see what it looks like. So, boom. So cool, this is even better. This is even better. So look, look look how powerful it is when you even break it down on a smaller time frame because I think you guys would agree that even these two candles right here I may not have stopped people out because it's still above this other high. But in reality, it's this red candle. In reality, this is the candle that came and got everyone, right? So what if we take the retracement of this candle? Then what's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. That right there. Right there. You see this? You see how nice these tests are? Just imagine, just me, just imagine waiting, waiting to see equal lows, equal lows, equal lows. I, this, is what, this is what I used to see all the time. We're buying, we're buying, we're buying. We're going to wait for this candle to happen. We're just going to wait. We're going to be patient because we know what the possibilities are when we wait for this candle to happen. 
because when I enter off this touch, one, two pips draw down and you're already up 40 pips. Like literally right now within, this was 345 this morning. So six hours later, seven hours later, you know, a nice, a nice little 40 pips. So guys, and that's even, you know, through the consolidation before New York, you know, New York didn't really start till right here. They gave a nice little push down, you know, nice little break and retest. And now we're up, we're up at the end of New York. So guys, this is just, just all you got to notice in the markets. And, um, you know, that's, that's exactly the charts that, you know, they dropped last night. I'm going to let Mitch go through, you know, his charts and everything, but let's check out what they're looking at here. So here's the dollar index, the DXY. Um, you know, we actually got that sell right there off of these candles, fell back down. So now it's back up. So this line right here is probably that last up candle before the down move. So they're going to see this one to continue down, which means what? Weak dollar, which means what? GBP USD moving to the upside. All right. It all coincides. It all correlates. Let's check out their other chart. Oh, he dropped, he dropped it twice. Um, he was just showing where his direction is for the dollar. So again, seeing this chart, all right, I can think, I can keep in mind, all right, all right, yo, like this is the dollar index. If the dollar index is about to move down, again, that's going to give me that bias that, you know, GBP USD could be moving to the upside. Now I need to, now I need to find confirmations that I can get to be able to get into a trade for GBP to the upside. All right. And we already saw the confirmations again this morning, but we could be getting, you know, we, we absolutely probably will get another confirmation, you know, somewhere in here to test this, to come up and take out a lot of this imbalance, to be honest, that hundred pip move yesterday, guys, um, you know, really left the market without, You know, really left this entire area right here untouched uh, by any other previous wicks or anything. So we could definitely be seeing, you know, this as a nice take profit area. Let me make this green. You know, this would be a nice take profit area. And again, we're talking, you know, we're talking 40 pips to the bottom, 70 pips to the top, just from this top entry. So, you know, it's more than enough, more than enough pips to wait for the test. Trust me, like we're, we're going to get these sniper entries. We are going to get these sniper entries down here sooner than later. We're going to catch them. We catch those based on looking left to get right, but we just have no previous data right now. But we can catch this test and still catch these 60, 70 pips, you know, going, going up on GBP USD right here. Um, and then one more I'm going to do. So that's it for GU. Uh, UCAD, I saw this last night. Or... It was pointed out to me last night, I think by Q, um, and I showed you guys this yesterday that I took this cell, all right, and it and it literally smashed my TP, you know, pretty perfectly. You know, it was a nice little 30 pips, uh, and, and it was out. It came right through and it was out. What I didn't realize though, guys, is I want you to see this right here. I hope. Well, who we? Let's see, Glishel hopped on the call. Perfect. I'm going to keep going through. Everybody, Everybody's up to speed. Cool. So check this out, guys. Over here in this previous and these previous equal lows, which on the hour is a big equal low, look, look what happened on the 15-minute. All right? Equal lows, stop out candle. Equal lows, stop out candle. So what I'm going to do is take again the beginning of the last candle before the down move in the 50 percent of that red candle before the down move all right again those are two entry prices now what i was looking at was this zone as a take profit because i saw this imbalance what i didn't notice was that was these entry prices right below this zone and if you guys look at to what happened over here it was literally the easiest clap ever on USD CAD right here. And it's really funny because again, I didn't see this at first, but now 
you you betcha instead of looking for these zones i'm going to go find that candle that we can get these easy clap entries off of because guys you know i i came in and took this sell for 30 pips but then you know somebody easy clapped it for 60 pips you know in six hours right here versus me waiting six hours for 30 you know they got 60 pips in six hours so as you guys can see like that's I just never, I've never been introduced to any trading style that I'd be able to enter on a red candle right here and have no drawdown and be able to catch pips like it's nothing. I mean, you instantly went 30 pips in profit. So I hope everybody can see that. And as you see, you know, the, these, these are always, you know, these are always in play. Look at what happened over here. Like the, these are my entries from these candles over here and it's literally playing playing a role over here so you guys just always got to keep it in mind and just know that these zones are going to keep coming into play keep coming into play um so that's what i saw on us cad uh i know we have some some good charts for the for the jpy pair so if mitch or q whichever one of you uh guys want to hop on first i can go ahead and let you share your screen um just let me know before i unshare mine q i i think q might still be at the house i don't know if he's hit the road yet or not i think uh, i'm not Nah, I'm here. Anybody, uh, are you guys able to hear me? One, one, one in the chat if you are. Yeah, yeah we should. Be good. Good. We good. All right, cool. Um, so. Ah, here we go. All right, um, so yeah, I just really wanted to break down more of just pretty much everything and, and how you can be patient as well for multiple moves to happen. Like Colton said, like it was before when we were looking at the market, we we're looking for, you know, TP areas, right? Now it has like officially turned into like not only looking for TP areas, but also looking for areas to enter right off of your take profit. Right, it literally so it, like if you like just kind of watch it go through its little motion. It goes from point of interest target that target now becomes a point of interest to the next target. Then that target now becomes a point of interest to the next target. Right, it's like consistently then mitigating out of buys and mitigating out of sales, making a lot of money. So I mean, he broke down um, GBP USD perfectly. This is the same thing with uh, GBP NZD that me and Mitch were looking at last night. We were on a daily low. Yeah, we just came all the way over. Always looking left to go right. You know, we had this red candle right here, take out a couple of these lows. Not every single low that we wanted, but this was just kind of a back test just to really see, you know, can, could the market kind of bounce right off this area? And then we came into the hour time frame, and as I put my little PP right here, I mean, it, it was just like instant. It was like the moment it came down here and tap, you know, you were, you were up in profit. I think this is up in profit, almost 52 pips, right? It's, it gets to the point where you are yeah, 60 pips, right? That's just, it's insane. But one of the things that I really wanted to talk about that I know like we're all focusing on the pew pew, but one of the strongest areas to get in where um, Matthew Jordan and Zach were teaching when they were coming to the house, where they really dropped the Hail and Mary is the test, right? Uh, Colton talked a lot about it with the GU. You were right. You were right. Now we're going to go buy since, you know, we got a little bullish engulfing right here. And then they come and they flush you out, right? They take everybody's stop loss. They turn around, send that beautiful big green button with a huge lot size on it, and then just drive the market up. All right, so it's, it just gets to the point where it's, it's just crazy. I mean, but I really wanted to speak about the test being a really strong area because I know that uh, a lot of my second entries, I, I shoot for the PPU, 
And then I, I just drop a bomb on the test because the test is basically the break and retest structure that we've been looking for, right? Something that we all know, right? Break of his own. Support to ceiling, ceiling, ceiling to support. But it's just when you get in that. So that was the same thing for GP NGD. Um, man, USD Chef is something that I think I showed Mitch. Uh, <laughs> I like y'all's. Yeah, I like y'all's stuff right there. Oh, and real quick, guys, I think it is important to where we see in these GPP pairs um, when we're getting new lows. Like, like where the market's at the lowest, you know, a new low, low point, we definitely just want to, we just want to go back, like, where previously can we find a last down candle before an up move? Because, I mean, you guys see it right there, like, 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 like Q said, it was probably down there, that entry point, for less than a couple minutes, and then it was up. So, if you're getting new lows or new highs, go, go back and look for a previous area of distribution or accumulation and look to see where you would have made your price lines because I know even now, you know, we're missing stuff like this and charts all over, but we're going to start catching them and catching them. So you can keep on going Q. No, I mean, that's just, it's, it's perfect, bro. What you're saying, like it's as we keep going, it's just, you, you start to first, you find the pew pew. Now you realize once you pew pew, it's like an immediate second. It's another sniper, right? When it comes down to its target area, right? And what you said was like pretty much pinpoint. Like I noticed that like when I really start to back test this, going back to previous accumulation, going back to previous distribution have been like just picture perfect areas to re-enter the market. Like I don't know if you guys saw like – load up, load up. What is this? This whole this whole little schematic right here. Whole schematic is accumulation. All right, and then we found our point of interest right off of that. Now we are riding. I'm liking GBP. But um, yeah, they look hard. good, especially if we're looking for a weak dollar. You can oh, definitely yeah. get some nice tests and see those go up for the end of the week. Midweek reversals. Yeah, man. What are those? We don't. I forgot about midweek reversals because we're just pew pewing everywhere. <laughs> uh, you chef is actually pretty funny because I, me and Mitch, um, I showed Mitch this probably Sunday night, and I was like super, super excited because before anything, like this is all I saw in the market. I don't, I'm sorry, guys. I don't have the replay. Right. This is all I saw in the market. Right. I saw, you know, these three uh, bearish movements down, right? People inducing sellers. And this is on the daytime, inducing a lot, a lot of sellers, right? Comes right back up almost a couple of days later. And then it closes under. And this is another one that I didn't see. It not only closed under your zone, you have a doji, right? A red doji on that. And like we've been talking about a lot, like, these candles have a lot of power. They tell a lot of, like, they tell a huge story behind them. That that simple close within, uh, under the zone. Then you have a doji right there on the day chart, right? That's people's, yo, that's a great, great, great resistance area. Let's do a good risk to reward. And what happens? Smart money just watches, right? Because one thing that I was telling the guys here, and for Myers is that smart money is not looking at the charts. They don't have a chart. They're looking at order books. So if you guys understand that every single um, transaction we do in, in, in taking trades is either a buy or a sell, right? So it's crazy too, because I'll explain a little bit more. Everything we do is a buy or sell, no matter what. If you can understand that, then you can really understand what, how this is so powerful. Once everybody starts selling right here, right, inducing sellers, the bank flushes everybody out on the sell end. And then watch how easy they flush everybody out on the buy end. Because then what do you have? A bullish break, close above the zone. 
So not only did the sellers get flushed out, right? They sold, bam, TPs were hit. I mean, stop losses were hit. Then when the buyer, when the buyers, the more patient people, th they thought they were very, very patient, got in for a bullish break. Now we have a retest, another retest. Is it crazy that the retest is a doji? Like twice? These are areas that are, are very strong. Like they're very strong. It's a very strong support and resistance. We got two dojis here. So now the sellers have turned into buyers. The buyers now get flushed out. And it was pretty cool to watch because all I saw was this candle. But I knew at that moment, this candle was going to be my point of interest because it took out. I was looking for liquidity to be taken out. It's kind of crazy that we're like, literally thinking the opposite of what everybody else is doing. So getting back to me saying that everything we do is a buy or a sell is that let's say whoever sold the market right here, when their stop loss got hit, they had to buy back into the market. Thus inducing the market get pushed up. Right. And then whoever turned around and bought on this doji, right. When their stop loss get hit, they had to sell back into the, like you have to sell back into the market, thus creating the market to do its push down and allow not only for money to get behind the move, but for you to just dump more money in it as well, right? And this is how I'm gonna really, really break it down as far as like the, the, the thought process behind it. When smart money came in here and bought to sell, what did they do? They slapped a lot of like $5 million, right? Then they turned around and they slapped a sell because they can hedge and we can't for like $10 million. So they go $10 million in profit on their, oh, well, let's say they go $20 million in profit on their sell, but guess what? They still bought the market, but a couple of days ago. So now they have to hedge themselves out of it because now their $7 million in drawdown with their buy. What happens? when they take their profits on their sell, they have to buy back into the market. Like it's crazy how it, it happens over and over again. They literally mitigated themselves out of their drawdown initial sell, uh, all down after their drawdown for their initial buy by just taking profit in their sell. What happens? Market comes right back up to this area and drops, but I'm still not convinced because as I broke this down for hour, I wanted this to clear. So I'm, I'm still gonna wait because as my little yellow line right here, is imbalanced. And they're giving, they're giving the retailer some, some good money. They're giving them some good money. Because guess what? In order to play the game, you have to continue to allow people to win. So I, I still don't believe that this was a true sell. I'm still waiting for it to either test the body. I mean, it did test the wick. Uh, uh, look at it. it did test the wick but I, i'm unless uh, i mean if it falls it falls and then i'll just you know it's it's one of the things that you just kind of mark up and learn from but i'm still thinking it's going to come to this um body simply due to the fact that it made equal uh equal highs which is a target causing liquidity and not only that like i broke it down more and more and more just keep breaking everything down that imbalance inefficient price action, right? That has to be filled at one point. So it's just stuff to just continue to look for. And I remember one thing, I don't wanna take up too much of you guys' time. When I saw, as it's just like going through, like, as I saw this, I'm like, why is this like, what does this doji look like on a lower time frame, Guys, I want you guys to understand, to start coming in here and going day, four hour, one, 30, 15. Like whenever you have like these, weird areas or like point of interest, just break it all the way down. Because I, I guarantee you, like Colton said, like we were sitting on the couch 
And I'm like, dang, Colton, do you see that bot? Right? If you break it, if you keep breaking it down, like you're literally being able to like just murder one pair. It's like entries that people are not seeing, but we see it every single day. So like this little doji right here. Yo, broke, yo, it down. <clears throat> broke it down to the hour. What do we have? Accumulation right here. Like right in front of our faces. And this is one of them that, you know, that's your eco lows, breaks it, comes right back up. Right? You could have looked left to go right over here. Last down candle that took out liquidity right here. Just, it's there. There's another snipe, right? I'll draw it out. So you're literally, you're literally sniping the stop outs. Every Cause it's so down. crazy right here. And I'm sure you're going to go into this queue. Like that, the candle that did that thing right here on the right, we literally got perfect 50% retests on it. Yeah. Right there too. Mm -hmm. and so then it's guess like, you can see that accumulation happening, guys. We get the stop out candle and we know that when I get a 50% test of this stop out candle, that's my entry. But instead of wait, you don't, you may not have to wait 18 hours for that because you can catch this sniper entry on the stop out. Yeah, because let's do this out. Let me just. Yeah, that's lit. Break it down, break it down, break it down. That's lit. What candle did that thing? Clearly, this is our point of interest. I'll highlight it real quick. Because I want to actually show you guys like a couple of things in this. Candle comes in, does that thing, right? See, because I because I knew we came from an area of a low, I knew that there was gonna be some type of sniper entry to my left, right? Um, but looking at this as well, candle slaps. I don't even have to measure 50%. I can just go half. I already know. And here's the, here's the, like, here is like, the really crazy thing about this that I don't know if you guys see. I'm pretty sure you guys do. Not only did you get to snipe this entry down here, right? For people who were not, that were looking at this candle as a point of interest, which was a great area for a point of interest, right? Comes down to the 50%. But then guys, what happens? What is it that like, it just keep happens over, over and over again? You got lows, right? You got, I'm gonna drag it out in a second. You were correct. You were correct. Your timing was off. The test. That test was my hail of Mary. <laughs> because what happens, not only do I know that I sniped it on this one, I come over my 50% on a lower time frame is my exact test on every other time frame. Breaking it all, like, guys, just break every single – I can't stress you guys how much I want to see, like, just breaking every single thing down. Right? Just going from time frame to time frame. Because if you do time frame to time frame to time frame to time frame on one chart, I guarantee you, you're going to find entries – that nobody is looking for. And this all came off looking at this doji, right? Like, this little doji's right here. Coming down, breaking it here, breaking it down there. Coming down, then breaking it down to the hour. Then if you were like, yo, Q, I, I forgot to look left or go right. No problem, what candle did that thing? This one right over here. You could have measured 50% for the body and just murdered an entry. Like, like, guys, like, uh, it's crazy how, like, our eyes are, like, seeing things that it's just – we we, did, we were, I, I know I wasn't seeing back then. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then not only that is setting us, setting us up for the buy. Setting us up for the buy. And it just plays in confluence. It just confluences everything I just said on the sell in for them to drop this market down here. Right? Because when they take the profit again – they're gonna sell, they're gonna buy the market, so that's why I'm looking down here. I got my daytime low. This candle took out my lows from over here. Then it's like, all right, cool. Let's break it down. Let's break it down one more time. The four hour wicks are powerful, guys. Wicks are super super powerful at this. Like wicks become like just crazy powerful. 
that seen us, baby. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what? What's that? <laughs> um, wakes are super powerful. Last night he's like, yo, I gotta keep myself on mute. She'd be so loud in the mornings. Wait, your stomach? Say that one more time, brother. Was that your stomach? <laughs> no, it was a baby. My yeah, but I'm hungry. <laughs> so is that your stomach? <laughs> right. Uh, so look, four hour. If I'm seeing these lows on the four hour, just think about it in your head. If it's the four hour and I go to the hour, it's gonna be a lot more lows. Cause I'm and it's, I'm gonna just keep breaking it down. On this end. What do we got? You. Yes, sir. Um, like, and then, but when you keep breaking it down, is it further confirmations or, or equal entries? Like, yeah, it's both. When you, is it kind of just like, even if you snipe a daily entry, I mean, are you looking, I know exactly, like you said, I mean, I think that's what you're about to explain, but then exactly, then you break it down and then you got more candles, more lows, and then that obviously moves your snipe you know, your, your crosshair. Um, yeah. But are you saying that they, like potentially they could all be equal or is there a, a, a way to use the different time frames to add confirmation for like a more, a better entry, I guess? Uh, yes. Because like I was saying, like not only are you able to find the other targets and entries on like breaking down the time frames. Like if we were to, for even this right here, this little schematic, right? You have equal lows. I'll delete this. You have equal lows. It gets blasted, right? I'm going to start looking at this candle to be my point of interest. I'll, I'll take that away because I'm going to start looking at this candle to be my point of interest. So at the point you can do you can do one or two things, Scott. And this is crazy because this is something that me and Mitch were talking about last night as we're just you know going back and forth and picking each other's brains. Not only can you say, okay, cool, I want the open and the fifty, right? And you can be patient, right, and, and wait for your entry right here, which it came. But then if you like, if you really want to like start dissecting, which I really do advise because once you like start dissecting this then like no matter what, when people start asking you questions, like people that start start the business, you're gonna be able to answer everything on such a deep level that they're gonna be like, yo, like it's over with. Like we had a gentleman over yesterday that was like, yeah, man, I get probably stopped out six out of 10 times. And I was like, yeah. I, and I asked him, I said, yo, can you uh, pull up Forex patterns for me on Google? And he's looking at me like I'm crazy. And then just told him. Well, who puts that up there? You know what I'm saying? Like, who? What, what goes? What goes with all this? If knowledge is power, applied knowledge is dangerous, and whoever's pointing knowledge is is a murderer. So, as I was saying, this, this our candle. If you wanted to be patient, right? If you wanted to be patient and wait for your entry over here, that would have been great. But just to dissect more, and not only find your entries over there, but just find even better, even find more entries. If you keep breaking them down to different charts, this is going to keep happening. Because now that one hour candle that we saw is broken into two. What do you have? The open of your 30 is an easy snipe here, right? Not only, and then it's your same, it's your same easy snipe there. If I, I, I want to know if I, if I explained it well, Scott. Yeah, if you're finished. No, it makes sense. I thought you were about to go down again. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> then you just, it just keeps looking for it more and more and more, right? Yeah. Now, when does that play, like, right there in the 15 minute? Now you got right past it. You got a, um, right there, yep. And then you still even tack down even further. Yeah, and then this is crazy how this will right? Once the market gets back to areas of – point of interest, it causes liquidity, right? We'll hop back here. We got liquidity. These equal lows get demolished. That becomes the candle that does that thing. If you were to put wake to wake right here, this is how it's like, it goes from 
waiting like a couple of hours to literally a couple of minutes. Right? So this is that candle that does that thing. You wait. Three hours, you allow money to get behind the move. It literally comes back and tests wick to wick. I'll draw the line out. Wick to wick. So just imagine, bro, you got an entry right here. Right? Come back to the hour. Now, like what you're seeing on the hour is, oh, this, I'm gonna just drag my arrow out. This, on the hour, you, you got a perfect intro in the 30 minute. But if you come on the hour, yo, that was my support, right? We had our break out. We had our, our candle that came in and did our thing. And we came back and tested our support. So now you just done two confirmation for that one entry right there. And, and here too. It gets to the point where it's like, I said it yesterday with Chino Dover. Uh, what time are you willing to get up and start making some money? Did you say like, oh, they've been, oh man, that's a mad drawdown. You know, if you break it down on a, a longer time frame, right? You, you saw it. It was the wick to wick entries. Wick to wick to wick to wick entries. So that's just crazy. Yeah, and and real quick, going back, you know, even looking at this right here, guys, looking at that point of interest candle. All right, I kind of broke this down for uh, Andy, our friend that was over last night. Think about it, guys. Number one, we're 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 already part of the five percent of people learning this skill. All right, we're we're part of the five percent. Now, if you guys haven't heard of the statistic yet, ninety six percent of forex traders fail. 96% of Forex traders fail. They don't make any money. They don't have any results. They end up quitting all this stuff. All right. What? So we're already part of the five. And now we're trying to be part of the 4%, 4% of that 100. Now, what they teach us at all the basics courses, all, you know, most of, you know, IML Academy, most of the educators are teaching the same principles that they want us to know that 96% 96, 96 of people are failing on. What about those 4% of people that actually make money? All right, what about the banks that are actually moving the markets? All right, somebody may approach me and go, yo, Colton, like, I don't know about that Forex market, you know, I might stick with stocks because, you know, since Forex is the largest market, I heard, you know, it's really risky and it's easy to lose your money. I said, yeah, it, it's easy to lose your money if you're doing what 96% of people do, but what if I learn to do what the banks do? What if I learn to, to, move, to, to move with the banks and the market? Then I'm going to be part of that 4%. I'm going to be part of that 1%. Guys, it's just like that's why, that's why we want y'all to plug into the strategy because it's not – it's you know, I was part of the 96% for a year and a half. You know what I mean? Like it's just it, – that just isn't the way. That's why every – that's why a lot of people fail. So if we learn how to look at the market like this, learn how to look at the market – like the banks and the institutions, the people that are actually moving it, we're gonna be able to move with that 4%. We're gonna be able to move with that 4%. Yeah, it's just, I honestly just wanna say, man, you guys have been doing like absolutely insane. Like just to be able to like, like questions that I see like you guys answer in the chat for newer people. I think I saw Julie um, answer an amazing question, right? Um, I think. Dennis was asking about, yo, did it take out our lows? Or, you know, is this a good entry? And I, I was looking at the market at the time. I already had looked at GU. And then all I see, like, bam, right off the bat, Julie, nah, wait for it to take out liquidity. Like, that right there within itself is what makes this, what, what makes us 
be on the come up. Because if you start to just play at the bigger scheme of things, DFW, no recruiting, no promoting, no presenting. I'm not saying anything bad about building, but they built the Chairman 25 businesses off of strictly being the 5%. Pricing areas, which is not, not saying it doesn't work. It's just when it's time to trap price. That's all. It's the patience on when the time to trap price. Right, and this is just for this right here. You just start to see, like, yo, because I had two doses right here, that was liquidity. And because that stopped right there, that was liquidity. Right? People are actually selling that. You dissect more because you're like, yo, I thought it was an up candle for the down move. You highlight the whole box. What do you have? Up candle, down move. You just keep breaking every single thing. That's the four hour. All right, cool. I have all of this previous liquidity. Let's put our masses. All right, not only the liquidity up here, but it is down here. I got this one. Uh, I see. That was my candidate that did that thing, right? And it's literally like saying, "What time are you willing to wake up to make money?" If you if you're able to 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 pretty much see that doji happen, right? Or just watch this. Look at what we got here. We are in for a sell. So the people that say, yo, I didn't catch this. The market's fractal. They're just going to walk it down. I want to show you something really cool, too. <laughs> so below, as above, it happens over, right? I got liquidity down here. My candle does that thing. Now you just got to remember the cut. The colors change. Right, does that thing, comes back and retests. Like this is this is dangerous. Like when I'm talking about applying knowledge is dangerous. Guys, wait, what you're gonna be able to do with your accounts, what you're gonna be able to do with people who, who get launched, you're gonna be able to take them in three weeks tops. If you say, listen, I need you to give me three weeks, three weeks of just work ethic. And I guarantee you, I, I, I I've never said I can promise you something, but I promise you if, you, if you really come in here and you dive deep into what we have going on, you can flip your account like that. It's just crazy. Even if I, even if I break this down even more. Yeah, and I was, telling, I was telling them last night too, what I'm, really, what I'm really excited about is sometimes it's hard for us to maybe give those, give those precise signals you know, tell someone, oh, wait for that break and retest, you know, whatever it may be, that newest person coming in. Sometimes it may be hard to get them to copy and paste their way, you know, into profits. But what if I was able to send them a chart of a simple point of interest line that were, hey, you know, I'm going to let you know when I enter on this line too, but literally when it touches this line, we can just press buy and we are high. You know what I mean? So I think that's going to be really powerful going forward. For us to be able to drop our charts and be like, hey, like you guys just gotta watch these two prices, set an alert for yourself. When it gets to that price, you know, we're all we're all gonna enter. Because we're already getting in after the masses. This is perfectly correct. And if you're like, yo, like how am I gonna re-enter on this? Like it's just kind of tough. Guys, what did we just create up here? We just created equal highs that haven't been taken out. Now, yeah, it, it, it can, you know, keep going, right? Because you got all of this. I can see imbalance right here. You got equal lows right here that just need to get obliterated, right? To, stand, to start the same thing over and over and over again. So, I mean, it, this, really, this really gets to the point where they're saying, yo, you can literally take one pair, dissect it, and just murder your chart. Just murder it. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, Shane. Bobby Schmurda? 
I'm bothered for them. Yeah, oh man, Shane, you guys have been absolutely killing it, bro. Yeah, Mitch, I, I, I really want you, I, I don't know if you're on your computer or you're by your phone, brother. Yeah, his AJ chart looks great. Do you do you have Telegram up? Do you want to pull up his chart? Do you want me to share yeah, my screen? Okay, so this is Yeah, yeah, he he turned it out. He just it out. post on Telegram. And it's pretty crazy because I everybody entered off down here. G, I remember Shamey, uh, other couple people entered off down here. It did that, it, it, you know, we sniped, right? I remember watching, I know I got on a call with Mitch right after, and he just goes, yo, I really feel like if it comes down into this area, and I can't like swipe over to see where it was at, but it was another, oh, it, I mean, he was kind of doing it based off this wick right here and this body. He said, I feel like if it comes back down to these two areas, we're going for, we're going for a little bit of a joy ride. Right. Well, he, no, he was trying to take this. He was trying to take this thing to the moon, to be honest. Um, and it's crazy because right after I hopped off the call with him, you know, Jordan, Zach and Jordan are saying that, hey, if it comes back to this, likely if it comes back to this pew pew area, you know, it's I'm not seeing it going back up. I'm seeing it just flush out. But it's crazy because. You got it's just, it gets to the point where how much are you going to break it down? Like this one hour candle, if you would have broke that down like and just dissected it in the, in the wick of this one, you would have seen why Mitch was saying he drew it out on his chart, like with arrows, like with arrows. He's like up, down, up, down, come down one more time and then go up. And I was like, no, every time I, every time I talk to Mitch and he says something that happens in the market. So I'm like, no. Cause when, like, if it's something bad, I'm like, Mitch, don't say it. Cause it's going to happen. And then we, what happens? I come in and I, I'm able to snipe another entry, right? And I was like, yo, how did you see that? And he was like, bro, I've been trading for a long time. And I, it's, it's just, I've, I've been stopped out so many times, I know. But then now that I'm even now looking at it, we created what? Equal loads. This equal loads had to get stopped out, right? That's why I say your, your point of interest then we came over, right this back to your point of interest you create liquidity equals liquidity bam now your target is your so it's just This is dangerous. And it's sometimes it's sometimes feel like it gets a little bit overwhelming because you're like you're trying to you know find the perfect entries all the time, but just let it happen. I say Sunday night, like that's like the rocket to the moon. <laughs> yeah, we it gets. This is this is what I love about this because like now it's it's for me it's genuinely fun. Right? I've always had fun marking up charts and, and seeing stuff play out and be correct. But then it gets it gets frustrating when it's not correct, right? But then you get to the point where like I'm drawing shopping carts, like right? we're going to pick up groceries. Mitch is over here drawing rockets. It's funny, right? But because of our concept, because we understand what's really going on. It's true. Smart money. Flushed everybody out. Up oh, 50. Bam. Rocket ship. Yeah. Take off. Take off. Offset. <laughs> yeah, I, guys, I really, and another thing too, I highly advise, like, you know, people that we're close with um, on our squad. Uh, I know that this is amazing that Colton is recording this, but if they can hop on these calls, like they definitely need to hop on these calls. I think me, Chino, Colton, Shane, Mitch, um, I mean, it's just been every single day.
Yeah, and yeah. I'm not. We're not going to be recording every single one of these, um, since this was kind of our big second week of Wealthy Mindset TV. And I mean, because the session was so fire on Monday, um, we're just going to have these. Basically, I'm going to have five hours of institutional trading up on up on YouTube for us to go back and follow along and look at the markets this week. But you know, outside of that, we really need everybody to hop on these live sessions. And I know 10 a.m. may not be that perfect time for everyone. Um, but that's why we have these recordings and stuff too. But yeah, we really need to try to plug the teams in, um, you know, for this outside of IML TV. The last one I want to show you guys, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, before last night, we had these equal low, I mean, equal highs. And uh, no, no NZD news came out last night. But, you know, they were calling NZD being very, very bullish, right? We have these equal highs that we're sitting here for a couple of days now, or more than a couple of days. And that's the same thing I saw, I showed you guys on uh, UChef, is now what you're seeing on InChef. Equal highs get taken out by this one daily candle. All right, this is gonna be fun to just really dissect. Now I see this is my candle. I left my, my yellow for my daily point of interest. You go from looking at, that big area to now looking at this one candle. So what do we do? We took out liquidity. Like we snapped a lot of fucking liquidity, like a lot of it. Now I just need to see money get behind this move because this is going to be a beautiful setup. Bring it down on the one hour. It already way too body tested it. But yeah, just being patient, just being patient. I want to answer any questions, you know, I uh, really want, if you guys have any questions, uh, just ask. I want to be able to be something to to really help God, help everybody understand what's going on. Like one of my goals is to become an IML educator. So if you guys have any questions, it's like fire away. <laughs> hey, like, right there on the NZD chef. Um, and the same thing, you're just looking for it now to go to the downside. Yeah. It, it breaks your breaks your line and then and then snipes off of it. You're just going yeah. to go below and then come back up, wick off of it, and then go continue to the downside. Yes, sir. And then when, um, once I want to show you, like you want to look for targets too. Right, what do you got? You got a little bit of a gap, gap, gap right okay. there. She really hadn't been filled yet. No, I ain't been filled yet. Right, and not only that gap is right there, what we got sitting under here, liquidity. All right, I think Jordan goes, yeah, I look for take profit areas before I look for entries, because if I see take profit, <laughs> I know I have an entry somewhere. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, you got these, this little gap that hadn't really been filled. Then you have an equal low right here. Well, I mean, it already got taken out, but then you have these two equal lows. Came yeah, right here. I see that. <laughs> hey, I'll show you where I draw my trend lines. I got you. I got you. I got the perfect pair. I got the perfect pair for my trend line. I don't know which one it was. Tapped off perfectly. Which one? <laughs> I'm just saying every trend line, it just tapped off perfectly. Oh yeah, I got you, bro. Tina, here's my here's my trend line, bro. We out. It's old faithful. Cool. Or I'll just readjust it. You know, I'll just start adjusting my trend lines everywhere. Oh, I didn't work here. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. We can we can we'll we'll you know we'll extend it. Move it down this way. I'll leave that there and I'll send it into the, the group chat. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah. so guys I stopped out too many times from that trend line. I mean, yo, Chino, Chino knows trend lines. That's the thing you know on GU. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Chino's trend lines on GU is perfect. So yeah. Uh, for this one, I don't think I talked about Eurocad. 
pretty much the same thing. Comes down, takes everything out, this candle. I just broke it down. That candle became these two candles. Understanding that now I have more lows on the 30 minute right here. Right, they get, I put my people, I like the people because I like to say masses. Right, I have an institutional candle down. Money immediately got behind the move. So this is a really high interest area. All right, break it down even more to the 15 minute. More and more lows. You really get to see like candles that get broken down to where they're really at. So you got the open and the open, which is the open and 50 of the 30 minute. What do we have come over here? Equal lows. Equal so lows. you're still waiting on this. Oh yes, I'm waiting to drop a deuce deuce on this. Yeah. Right, because they still have to mitigate out of this sell to buy. I'm 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 gonna kind of go through it one more time. When the market sells down, let's say they sell down at five million dollars, they bought up. Right now they're up in profit thirty million dollars, and they buy, but they're down fifteen million on their sell. So what happens when they take profit? Take partial profit comes down. Take profit on the buy, you immediately sell the market. You have to, that literally what happens. Come back, and they're doing a little doing a little thing. They're messing around at school, but they have to. Is behind that, like, because that's still kind of unclaimed when you buy, you sell. Like, is that because you're taking the money out, so it turns the market to the downside? Is that like the same? Yeah, like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, you want to imagine every transaction is a buy or a sell because when you buy, and then exactly though, like but when you take like you said, you take profit and then you're taking profit on the buy and then take and then you're selling. Yeah. Like, yeah. You sell, you that's because you're taking the money out, right? Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. So they're 15 million sellers in drawdown. What are they gonna do? They're gonna bring the market down, create more liquidity to break even so that fifteen million dollar sell never happened. Yeah. Sure, yes, sir. So you guys got any questions, please um, let me know. Uh, shoot me a text or whatever. I really want to just be able to help everybody. And, and I love like doing like webinars too, because when you guys say something, I learn. Like even it's crazy like- No, facts. Are you guys doing this every day at 10? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Monday through Thursday. Monday through Thursday That's at the fun. very least. But try and at least shoot for 10 if it happens. Cause this is crazy because it's like, as we're like, as we just kind of bounce off question, question, like me and Mitch like ask each other millions of questions. And it's like in our heads, like you would think that we would like kind of not know the answers, but like heard the answers before, but just. Yeah. It. I think that's just a better way to learn, man. Honestly, yeah. I think it's hard to learn yeah. something all by yourself. Hey, you need input. Hey, do you guys look at gold yet? Oh, no. I it's, doing actually... candle. it's doing a fu candle right now. <laughs> oh, let's go give it. Man, I just got yeah, I just got a screenshot. I think it needs to go take out those highs. She about to go yeah. up to like fourteen fifty. You look at gold on the FX. Yeah, I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it in a minute though. Oh, that too though. See, I honestly though, I want to take these highs out. Yeah, I think I wanted to take the highs out. But I don't know who just dropped this. Who just dropped this chart? Q can pull it up. Um, it was Tim. So check this out. Wait, I'm gonna drop it in the traders only. All right. Yo. Okay. So I was doing the set this this on gold, and uh, it just didn't react the way it wanted to. It, it took all of us out. Like it was crazy because it did what we wanted. Hey. Yeah. Equal highs to get cleared. Yeah. But I mean, as far as this liquidity and this like little circle right here, yeah, it's about to take it out. And it's about to take, I'm pretty sure it already took this out. I don't know. Yeah, I would. Cause see right here, what, what, like this one, it just walked price down too. Like up candle took out highs, 50% is your, you know, your open and your 50 sniper entry, right? This is now point of interest. 50% and you're open, sniper entry. This is now, you know, your point of interest, open 
Um, like, unless it mad rejects, then, I mean, you could be looking for another shell. But I will, if, if we're looking for it to be that candle that really does that thing to all of these highs, then, yeah, I want to break through. But again, yeah, that's on the full hour. So even on an hour, 15 minute chart, I mean, I'm sure you're probably, I'm, I'm sure it's going to give you at least 30 pips breaking out, breaking out of that. Like, look at that on the, yeah, I mean, that's strong. That's a strong oh, last wow. couple hours right there. We're talking. No, oh, that's insane. We're talking what, 130 maybe? It hasn't done that. And I mean, that's yeah, that's a, that's a big, that, that's the biggest move it's had since that last push up over there. Yeah, gold is big, but I ain't even looked at it. Fuck. It's... Yeah, I crazy because I have not looked at gold. From... But it did also, too, like if you look at it right during that one hour, yeah, kind of what you just showed is some equal highs in that. Um, we'll go down to the one hour. I don't know if this applies, but right there, you got them equal highs popping right before busting through all those. Yeah, that's what that's what Chino just pointed out to us. That's why we brought it up. Um, and yeah, that's what that's I was cool. just kind of saying is – on the hour four, we may be looking for it to break those other highs up at 1440, but maybe on an hour 15 minute chart, you know, I, I, I do want to see this on the 15 minute too. I mean, this is a pretty fat stop out for those highs, but, oh, I mean, Q just got it. I'm sure if you were to enter right now, you know, if you were to take this sniper entry here, then you're easily going to get 30 to 50 pips. You know what I mean? And that's just breaking it down on the hour and 15 minute time frame. Whereas on the four hour, I wanted to break previous highs, but you know, absolutely right here, you know, you could still catch your move. You could still catch your, you know, whatever it is just based on this. <laughs> Yo, last time I entered gold, yeah, I haven't traded it in almost two weeks. I tried to sell gold, or I, I tried to buy it off of fucking that first retest after it dropped a little bit, and that motherfucker said, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the, I, like, what I want to see, like, guys, like, I know I kind of did it a little bit quick. I know everybody, I know everybody pretty much picked up on that. Uh, as far as like walking it down from this venue point of interest, target, point of interest, target, point of interest, target. All right, right. Every time we got back, every time we got closer to coming to a target, we created what? Equal low, equal highs. Right? Equal highs. Equal highs. Right? Equal highs. And now what do you got? You got equal highs. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Being taken. And then it's so a it major it out, rejection. It's going to take that out and then want to go to the downside, though, right? And then you would look at those two lower lines. Yeah. But, I mean, I, like like Colton said, like, um, like yeah, you can probably – if you're shorting this, probably a short uh, – a, a very uh, – yeah. not that much to be. Because we know overall. Oh, battery is hard. No, for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Damn. Chino done called out himself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if if he's like you're doing doing the candle right now. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's probably gonna be an easy thirty pips on that. Um, you know, especially since you just drove, you know, drew up those other point of interest lines right there. Um, but again, you know, that's the, I think, you know, looking at that four hour chart though, like that's the chart where it's like, yo, like I could wait all week for that breakout. You know what I mean? Like I'll wait all week to take that trade right there. Yeah. And then like one thing that I wanted to talk about too, is that like understanding where you are in the market, right? Clearly this is your markup. So what? We're in distribution. I'm really, really looking for sales. And one of the things that me and Andrew Bro, Anthony, battery is, please charge. is that um, no matter, like, if, say, if you're in your markdown, do you still look for entries? And I was saying, yeah, if you start to see that 
systematic being played out. You know, but accumulation, you definitely want to be buying and distribution overall. You definitely want to be looking for Snipe Cell, which Chino just called out. <laughs> Chino called out crazy. Yo, this actual, actually, this four hour close is going to be strong. Wherever this four hour closes, as far as like a good, you know, couple of pips is going to be real strong. But it's crazy because not only did we just walk price down, right? What did it just do? Like, as it's money's creating money to just be obliterated. <laughs> yeah, fucking obliterated. It's crazy. It's lit. So yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll definitely yeah, check. We'll, we'll definitely be checking gold out later tonight, tomorrow morning. See what we got, because I mean, we could easily break some previous highs, um, and see see what we got going for Friday on that. Chino, check it out. My train. Hey, take, nah, take take that shit from that top left high and bring it down through those wicks because it literally would have just broke it. Got you. Oh no, I got stopped out. I'm falling and I can't get out. Oh man, we're having too much fun. Now I'm gonna buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why is it not working? Yeah, actually, I think I just might be entering this on the hour if it closes. An offer has been added so, on All right, cool. Well, we're running it up on an hour here, so we'll probably go ahead and get this finished up if nobody else has any questions. Yeah, if you guys don't have any I'm questions. I'm LTV educated. On it, 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, I, told Mitch, I told Mitch that I wanted to go on Saturday, Tuesday at five. Say what? I told Mitch I wanted to go on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday around 6 p.m. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy and great for now. But I'm an educator. Hey, yo, before we hop off, um, yo. I just want to touch on something that Colton said real quick a bit ago about the percentages of success in this and, and failing. Like, those figures are spot on. You know, I mean, 95% of people are not going to, they're not going to survive this. You know, they're not going to survive in these markets. And then out of the 5%, 4% aren't going to be successful to the point where they stay in it for forever. So we're, we're on such a small minority of people that can, they can succeed in these markets and actually, you know, stay in them for the duration of time. But really what it should do is it should make us be so appreciative that we're part of this, this group. You know, I know whenever, whenever I got hooked up with, with Dylan, like it, it seemed like it was just like three or four or five people that were really like keeping the momentum going. But you know, we got so many people stepping up and so many people that are just killing Q you're killing it, man. Like, your your markups are so freaking spot on that you know we should we should just really be grateful that that we have you know this this group to be a part of and and that we're all going to be a part of that one percent maybe we can push it to like a two percent you know but i just want to say that because you know i'm i'm super grateful had i not been able to to connect with with dylan back in the day um you know i wouldn't be learning what what we're doing right now and i'd be stuck in the in the rat race like everybody else but just appreciative of you guys, you know? Yes, absolutely, uh, Shane. That's go second. Ahead, John. No, I just say, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Always grateful. It's really, yeah. really cool. it's really cool to, to like see what true persistence is. Like, I know for me, I'm new, but just looking at where Colton, where uh, Shane, Chino, you know what I'm saying? Dylan, right? They've been, they literally have been going through you know, stop out after stop out after stop out. Mitch, right? They they literally had it to the where they didn't allow anything to stop their dream. And just imagine everybody who got discouraged, right? 
at Schrader that was on the team before us, what would they have done if they would have saw this? What would have really But that's why we gotta we gotta get we got three hundred and twenty nine people in our traders only chat and we've got like ten to maybe twelve people on these calls. Like we've really gotta drum up everybody's interest because you think about it ninety five percent of those people in the traders only chat don't make it. I mean that cuts us down to like twenty people in our group. So if we don't want those pe people to quit, we gotta get them we gotta get them on these calls. Uh, I mean, I, I, I took a look at the actual people in, and I'm looking at who I know personally. And giving, I'm like calling them and saying, "Yo, you gotta be on these calls." And if not, like at least like you gotta sh like just just as a team buy all in. You know, if we had everybody blowing the telegram up, it would just okay. Fast, fast. Right, just imagine all of us just dropping just big bombs, right? Nuggets. Colton beat me to it. <laughs> right? It's just like it's crazy because now we all do five percent of our group. <laughs> really getting all these people in is gonna make our team just skyrocket. So yeah. Yes, sir. So yeah, and just to, just to end it off for you guys, going back to what Shane said about the numbers, you know, it's like, I know where I was before, all right, and the numbers, I was part of the, I was part of the 95% 95% of people trading my time for money. But once you understand these concepts, you just know in the back of your mind, like, yo, you know, Maybe the people, you know, a year and a half, guys, like I've literally been learning this stuff for a year and a half and for, you know, the eight people still on the call or however I can't say that for the eight people on the call. It's like everyone that hasn't joined or everyone that, that, that still tells me no, you know, right now we're, they're, they're doing the same thing, working their job. You know what? They may be better off financially than me right now because you know what? They've had that consistent pay for the last year and a half. They, they've been working their 40, 50 hours. They've had the consistent pay, da, 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 da. They may look at me right now and be like, yeah, he's doing it wrong. You know what I mean? But look where I'm going to be at in six months. I got to just keep remember, you know, reminding myself, where am I going to be in six months? Where am I going to be a year? They're going to be still doing the same thing, but I'm going to be elevated all the way up here. So it's like, guys, like even if you have that doubt, I just think of this. If I, if I were to quit trading right now, a year and a half in, I would be miserable the rest of my life because I know it's possible and I'd be out there doing like way below my means. So it's like, it doesn't matter how long it takes. You know what I mean? Like we all can get this. We all can perfect this. You know, we all can take advantage of this. So like any of those doubts, just hit some PD, you know, call up, call up one of us. Like, cause I'll, I'll tell you straight up, like, Anybody, I feel like 95% of people that would have went through what I've been through over the past year and a half would not still be doing this shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, I just want y'all to know that. And, you know, and everybody already does know this, you know, but it, that just goes back to those numbers. So it's just, it's just crazy what we got. But um, we seriously appreciate y'all, Shane and Scott, you guys, you, you, you are, you know, for sure, for Shane and Scott, you can impact so many people. Um, on your guys' level, you know, once you really, really get this down, and even before you really, really get this down, again, it's all about showing them the vision and the process. So it's just, I mean, just super grateful to be able to work with, you know, anybody, you know, all the way around. So we appreciate you guys. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead. We're, we're almost on an hour and a half now. So we definitely want to end this so I can get it uploaded and stuff. So uh, any last words, Q? We out? might have froze.